what's up y'all it's your girl carol the diva and today we're gonna be doing some makeup y'all have been asking for it and of course i'm gonna be giving it to y'all so i'm gonna start off by shaping out my brow and filling them in to do my brows i'm using just a regular brow pencil from the beauty supply store now i'm combing through them with my spoolie to fluff them a little bit now I'm going to use this brush from Huda Beauty along with my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer to carve out the brows. I like this brush because I use one side to apply the concealer and the other side to blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with my white tight concealer and I'm going to apply it directly onto my lid. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend it out using the same concealer brush. Now I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set the concealer so it doesn't crease. I'm going to go in with my Morphe bronzer and I'm going to be using this as my transitioning color. So I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my eyelid and blend it in towards my nose. And I'm just going to keep piling it on until it's dark enough to my liking. Now I'm going to go in with my Blends Bunny Cosmetic Palette and I'm going to be using mostly pink shades today to create this look. I'm also going to be blending this pink shade from the outer corner to the inner corner and I'm going to keep piling it until I have, you know, enough on there to my liking again. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease using the same white concealer that I used earlier. This time I'm going in with a lighter shade of pink and I'm going to be adding it right next to the pink that I added earlier on top of that white concealer that I just put on. Next I'm going in with an even lighter shade than the one I just used and I'm going to be applying it right next to it. I'm going to apply a tad bit of red on the outer corner. I'm not going to blend it in. I'm just trying to add a little bit of depth into this pink color that I have here. Now I'm going into my second dollhouse palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetic and I'm going to go in with this white shade right here and apply it on the inner corner of my eye and blend it into the last pink that I added there. Now I'm going to apply some primer and this one is by NYX Cosmetic. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation and I'm going to be using my True Match by L'Oreal today. I absolutely love this foundation so much. The shade I'm using in this foundation is N7 just in case y'all want to get it. You know, a lot of times y'all ask what shade I use so yeah, the shade for this one is N7. And to blend it out, I'm using my Damn Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to go in with concealer and just in case y'all are wondering what shade concealer to get, just get something that is a little bit lighter than your foundation. You do not have to go too light, especially if you're not very good at blending it out. Or just in case you don't like your under eye to be really light like some of us do. While my concealer is drying down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my contour stick and this one is from Fenty Beauty. To blend it out, I'm going to be using the same beauty blender as I used to apply my foundation and I'm using the same side that I used for the foundation. I like
Now I'm going to blend out my concealer using the pointy side of the beauty blender. To set my concealer again, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. After dipping the sponge in the powder, I like to tap it off on the back of my hand a little bit so I don't apply too much on my face. Good figure, can hold liquor, like sugar, can mess with her, one mega, run with her, she's a lot, them bigger. No man fi waste your time, you say, no man fi catch your vibe, no, no man can get it right, wait. After I apply the powder on top of my concealer, I like to just go over my entire face with whatever is left on the sponge. Now I'm going to go in and add some bronzer and I'm going to be using the same one from Morphe. And this is going to bring some color back into my face so it doesn't look so flat. And after I'm done with the face, I'm also going to add some on my nose. Now I'm going to use my BH Cosmetic Blushing in Bali palette that has blush and highlighter in there and I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush. Next I'm going to apply some lashes and this one I got from AliExpress. The glue I'm using to apply the lashes is one from KISS. So the lash I'm wearing, I'm going to be doubling it. So as you can see, I'm adding another one right on top of it. So sometimes I go for length and then sometimes I go for thickness. Today I'm going for thickness over length. Next I'm going to go in with my Maquillage Lip Liner and line my lips. The lipstick I'm going to be using today is this one from NYX. I'm also going to apply some lip gloss right on top of that lipstick. And when I use lip gloss, I like to use a lot. So I'm going to be dipping in this thing a whole lot of times. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and apply some setting spray and the one I'm using is by Maven Beauty. And now I'm going to use my handy dandy fan which I got from Amazon and dry my setting spray. I actually went in and add some highlighter after the setting spray. Usually it comes out much more brighter um, after the setting spray. Now I'm all done and satisfied with the look so I'm going to go ahead and let my hair down and change into something different and I will be back with the finished look. This is the finished look y'all. I absolutely love the outcome of this makeup look. I think it turned out very well. I think the pink is really giving. The hair is looking good. Everything just looks so perfect. 
here's the close-up look you guys pink on pink on pink don't go tell nobody we use red that's our little secret you know what i mean for that little depth <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this look and if this is something that you would try. Also, let me know what look you want to see next, what color, anything you want to learn. Just ask me. I will do it for you because guess what? I got the time and I'm in the mood. So I'm going to be here doing some makeup for y'all. I appreciate the love coming from y'all and y'all already know we're on the way to 100k and I cannot wait to get there. So just keep on supporting your girl if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment box i would love to hear what you think if this is your first time on my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye Man, fi waste no time. Wind up your body, girl, no matter.